Hi, happy Fox users. Today we're going to learn how to set up a Gmail account or a Google app email account as an email integrated category in our Happy Fox account. There's a couple things we have to do. We have to create a category in Happy Fox and then we have to set up a forwarding rule in Gmail and then we're going to test that with uh, just a test email address I have here. So notice I have all three of these tabs open already. I recommend you do the same because it'll make this process much more seamless. So how do we get to uh, the point of managing our categories? We're gonna go to our Happy Fox staff portal, then we're gonna click on the manage tab, then we're gonna click on the categories sub tab, and everybody is going to have this default category set up with your unique Happy Fox email address. Now, if you happened to log in, see this default category and say, oh, I don't want this category, I'm gonna customize my own categories and deleted this uh, category, note that you will not get any tickets in your Happy Fox account being forwarded from any of your uh, email accounts because Happy Fox no longer has this, this um, email address to link to. So let me show you very briefly how to get this back, and then we're going to show get into how to, we set up the uh, forwarding email rule in Gmail and finish the category form in Happy Fox. So I lost this ID. This default category doesn't exist. In order to retrieve it, we're going to click Add New Category. We're going to scroll down to our Incoming Mail options and click the drop-down option that says Email Forwarding. Now notice when I click this, boom, I've got my unique Happy Fox email address that I can pay, oh, I'm sorry, that I can copy and paste and create a, a new category that has uh, this Happy Fox account. And therefore, when I do forward an email to whichever account I'm using, it's going to create a ticket in my Happy Fox account. Okay, so back to what uh, we were doing before. So we have this default account. We're going to customize our account. So we're going to add the categories that we want before deleting this account if you ever feel like you want to delete this account. Right now I'm going to leave it be and I'm going to create a category called customer support. And this prefix here is going to be CS, which is short for, short for customer support. These are the characters that will precede the Happy Fox number, ticket number uh, on your Happy Fox tickets. So you can have anywhere from two to six characters on this prefix. This description is internal, so you can just type whatever you want. In this case, I'll say it's going to be my help desk department. You could edit your email signature. Here, I'm just gonna put something very simple. So whenever you reply, your customers will get this email signature. And this is my test account, JL Company. Now we're going to set up our incoming mail options. I want to create my own email forwarding from Gmail. So I'm gonna select this uh, email forwarding option and I'm gonna enter my Gmail account information, which should pop up. Help desk at Gmail. That's the one I want. And now I'm going to set up my outgoing mail options. And you have a couple of ways of doing this. You can keep this no reply email as is, and your emails will be sent from your Happy Fox account or this email address to your customers, basically. You run the risk, if doing this, you run the risk of your replies landing in your customer's junk or spam folder. So we recommend you set up your own SMTP account. And that's what we're going to go over in this video. So in this case, we're going to show advanced options to set up our own SMT account. Account, I'm sorry. Do you really want to do this is what it's saying. I'm going to say OK. And now I've got a drop down option to say use my own SMTP. Now, if you're using Gmail, your host name is going to be smtp.gmail.com. Very simply, is this SSL enabled? And we're going to say yes, it's Gmail. The port number is 587 for Gmail, not 465, which is more common, or 225, which is non-SSL, but 587. And we're going to set up 
our SMTP username, which is our email address. I'm just going to copy, paste my email address, and then I'm going to use this email address's uh, password to verify. And just to make sure that I have all this information entered in correctly, I'm going to test the connection just by simply pushing this button and everything looks green. Okay, good to go. I'm going to close this and if uh, you get any kind of error, obviously you might want to come back and recheck and make sure you have this outgoing mail options set up correctly or if you have your email passwords uh, typed in wrong. This from address automatically populates from this information. I don't need to touch it. And now I can pick what staff I want to associate to this particular customer support category. And in this case, um, I will select all of my staff. Now you have some different options of how you want your CC uh, your replies to um, your CC options, basically, in your email forwarding. You have a couple other uh, drop down options. This one I want to note really fast is I always change it to yes. What this says is, do you want to reopen a ticket? Say you close a ticket, your customer replies. Do you want to reopen that ticket and have it automatically assigned to the agent who was working on it? I'm going to go ahead and say yes 99% of the time. Otherwise, it's just going to create a new ticket and it won't really integrate with the previous thread. Now we're done filling out this form. Click uh, Save Settings. And we have a new customer support category set up in our Happy Fox account, and it's ready to go. But I've got to set up the forwarding rule in my Gmail account so that whenever my customers send their email to this Gmail account, it's going to be forwarded to Happy Fox and create a ticket, as we will see in a moment. So how to set up this rule in Gmail account? Simply click on the gear or settings option. Click your settings option again, and we are going to edit our forwarding options here. Click this middle option, and then the first option they give you here is add a forwarding address, which is what we want to do. Click add a forwarding address, and now you want to for, uh, add your unique Happy Fox address, which I will just copy from here and paste into Gmail, which this is why I said have the multiple tabs open because it's much more seamless and simple. Now I'm going to click next and they're going to confirm that you have the right address. I'll say proceed and now they're going to ask me, uh, they're going to send me a confirmation code to that email address and I'm going to say okay. So now where do I go and search for the confirmation code that I want entered in here? I am actually going to go into my Happy Fox account and let's click on the tickets tab and let's see if anything special came up from Gmail forwarding. Wow, would you look at that? It's here. So we can open it up and we'll take a look and see if we've got a confirmation code along with all this other jargon. Sure enough, confirmation code right here. All we're going to do is copy and again, paste. Now I'm going to click verify and it seems like you're going to be done. You've verified your email address, but you're not. I want you to notice like the default is disable forwarding, so you have to click forward a copy of incoming mails. So you have to click the second radio button option here in order to uh, re-verify again and save your changes. Now you are complete. Once you get this pink banner up here saying we're going to forward your emails to this account and we'll share this for seven days. If everything's all good, the banner will go away. So back to our test. Now that we're all done, let's go ahead and see how this is going to work out. So my customer here at this iCloud email, sorry, if I could find the right button, there we go. My customer is going to send a re, they're going to send to JL company at Gmail. They're going to send their request here. They're going to say, help, help. I want to buy your product because your customer support is outstanding. Oops, and we're real excited about it with some exclamation points. They send this email, so it's going to come into our Gmail account. Look at there. But when we go to Happy Fox and reload our tickets page by clicking on the tickets tab, let's just see if we get our request as a ticket. And we do. Look at that. 
Now I can just simply click on the ticket button and I can start to correspond through Happy Fox with my customer. And when I reply, my customer is going to get a response from this Gmail account up here. My own SMTP. Beautiful, right? That's it. It's easy as that. If you guys have any other questions, please refer to our knowledge base or also feel free to email us and we will love to chat with you. Thanks for using Happy Fox, everybody.